love bugs and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I help teach people find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today we're going to talk about something pretty fun that I think most everyone could probably get some benefit from and that is changing your appearance using the law of attraction. Huh? What? You can't do that, Sarah. Well, I'm here to tell you. Yes, you can. You can use the law of attraction for anything, including changing the way you look. You can make your nose smaller, you can lose weight, you can make your hair longer or shinier or healthier. You can literally do whatever you want, but I'm gonna tell you, if you don't believe that you can do that, you can't. See, the thing is, is typically when we wanna change something about our, our appearance, we say, oh, I'm going to be happy when, or I'm gonna feel good about myself when. You're essentially waiting for that outside occurrence, in this instance, maybe losing 10 pounds to happen before you feel good about yourself, but that's literally the opposite way the law of attraction works. So instead of going from the outside in, you have to go from the inside out. Hmm? Well, okay, Sarah, what the hell does that mean? Well, that means you have to know it, you have to believe it, you have to feel it inside before it transforms and comes into fruition in your outer world. So how do you do that? And I do want to put a disclaimer in this video that you want to be specific when it comes to manifestation and law of attraction. And the reason I say that is, say for example, you say, you know, I wanna be skinnier. And that's what you're manifesting and you're truly believing it, you're doing all the right things, you're feeling how you would feel if you had lost that 10 or 20 or 50 pounds or whatever it is, but you're not specifying how you wanna get skinny, you could end up with an eating disorder. I mean, if you're not specific about this kind of stuff it and you're doing all the other things the right way, it will happen, but it may not happen in the way that you necessarily want it to. Think about, you know, the saying that we all know, be careful what you wish for, because that is exactly what I want you guys to keep in mind. And it's not to freak you out, but you just have to be mindful about the way that you're going to go about this. So for example, instead of saying, you know, manifesting that I, you know, I want to be skinnier, manifest wanting to feel healthier and be healthier. And maybe you are manifesting, I want to lose you know, 10 pounds of fat because that makes me healthier. I want to be healthier, okay? That I just want to put it out there that that is a possibility if you don't do things the correct way. Well, okay, Sarah, how do you do things the correct way? Well, I'm going to tell you right after you hit that like button. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys a personal example, and that is with, you know, obviously myself. And losing weight. So I've been on this health and fitness journey for, you know, close to a decade. And I have found over the years, even before I got into manifestation and law of attraction, that the more I would obs and, and specifically obsess about my abs showing, the less I'm likely to have abs. Super weird, I know. But as soon as I decide that I don't care and I let go of that attachment of having abs and having my abs show through, <laughs> even if I don't change my diet, they start to come through. And so I would manifest that before I even knew how to do it intentionally. And now that I can do it intentionally, my diet is way less restrictive. I'm way more free. I still have alcoholic beverages, you know, once a week or once every other week or whatever. And I still have the abs when before, I wouldn't touch peanut butter, I wouldn't eat carrots because of the sugar content. And the reason that that is, is because the more I obsessed about it, or the more you obsess about whatever it is that you want to change, you're creating this energy, you're emitting this energy that you don't have that and that you lack that. 
So because you're emitting this vibration that you don't have it because you're obsessing about it, the universe is picking up on that vibration and sending more of that your way. So the more and more you think, I'm fat or I can't lose weight or I can't do this or you're so focused and thinking about it all the time, you're just projecting that and you're actually causing the universe or God, you know, the whole energy system of our world to go against you and to create more and more and more of that lack. So what you need to do is think of yourself already as, hey, I did lose 10 pounds, I feel great. And you have to create that feeling. Law of attraction is all about feeling the way you'd feel in that losing 10 pounds or if you were shorter or had a smaller nose or had bigger boobs or whatever. Think about this saying, the whole fake it till you make it thing is very in line with the law of attraction. So what you wanna do is you wanna fake it, feel it, and it will start to come to you. Now, is this going to happen overnight? Are you going to manifest today and look at yourself in the mirror and physically try to see yourself as 10 pounds or 20 pounds lighter and wake up tomorrow and look that way? Probably not. However, over time, continuing to think this way and become less attached to it and see yourself in the version of you that you wanna be, it will, it will come into fruition. So fake it till you make it. Wear the things that you're gonna wear when you've lost 20 pounds. Eat the way that you're gonna eat when you've lost 20 pounds. And if you're having a hard time visualizing it, I know that's probably hard, like if you wanna lose 50, 60, 70 pounds and you look in the mirror and you start to feel those negative emotions, I encourage you to maybe take a photo of yourself or, or bring up a photo you already have and edit it. Edit it out or have someone else edit it, go on Fiverr or something, and have the photo edited as if you lost or look the way that you wanna look and look at that picture because then you can really put yourself into it. Some people that are very seasoned manifestors don't need to do that, but if you're new at this, it could be really, really helpful and that could really encourage you to you know, put it on your mirror, make sure you see it every day. And on top of that, I want you to think about something that you really love about your appearance. Maybe you love your hair or your, your skin is so soft or you have beautiful eyes or a nice smile, but you're not happy with your weight. So what I want you to do is that when you look in the mirror and your first thought is, I need to lose 10 pounds. As soon as you catch yourself saying that or thinking that way, I want you to focus in on something that you love about your appearance and that you love about yourself and subscribe to my channel <laughs> and basically create that energy towards the thing that you actually do love about yourself and then you're creating that energy out and bring it into what you want to change about yourself and that's going to emit the frequency emit the vibration that you are happy with the way you look you see yourself as this you know beautiful human being and you're going to create that flow and that vibrational match of who you want to be or how you want to look. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I love manifestation. I've been working on it for about a year now, but I'd say really, really intensely in the last six months. And this shit does work. I'm telling you, it works. I love manifestation. I know it can seem kind of woo woo. It can seem kind of out there, especially when it comes to your physical appearance, but that's only because your mind and your, your programming is set to believe that that's something that can't happen. So you need to really believe it in your heart that this is something that can come into fruition and that you can do before it's going to happen. And a a another tip I want to give you is that your current mood is not your vibration. I mean, it can be if, if your mood is the same all the time, but say, you know, one day you're feeling amazing and you're really into the manifestation stuff and it's, and you're feeling really good about it. But like deep down, you still just 
don't really believe it and the next few days you're kind of feeling like wishy-washy about it and you're like well can this really work like it has to be deep it has to be in your core that you believe you can do this and there are so many people out there that have done it i mean just search the internet search youtube or facebook groups or whatever and you'll see so many people do this stuff and why the hell does that mean that you can't and if someone else can do it you can too i can too that's just the way the world works. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. What movie is that from? Comment below, what movie is that from? And I love you. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I hope this video really helped you. Let me know in the comments below, what are you gonna try to manifest and change? Scratch that. What are you gonna manifest and change? You want to remove, try, hope, those kind of words from your vocabulary. You're not gonna try to manifest losing weight. You're going to lose weight, all right? And you erase that vocabulary from your mouth, okay? From your mind, from your thoughts. I promise you can do this. I love you guys so much. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.